Hello, welcome to 9design 3 d In this video, we will make some PC1 and PC2 style graphics scene with the village. Let's go to the tutorial. First, we have to activate some add-on. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and type Building Tools. We will activate it for our houses. We will use this add-on. Press N for the side menu. As you see, there is a Create Floor Plan option and click it. When you select it in tap to edit mode and you can choose this face selection, scale and give some shape. And after that in edit mode press add floor, it will add a floor for your floor plan and when you choose this top faces you can press add roof. From the left mini menu you can choose which type of the roof you want. For example there is a flat, gable and hip. I will choose a gable in here. With the thickness, outset and height options, you can set how you want. I am making a village house and I will leave it like that. Choose this front face and after that press add door. You can add door like this. From the left menu again, you can change your fill type, maybe panels or glass panes or lower. I will choose a none. You can set your width, height and offset from the same part. I am choosing these two faces with shift and adding window. I will leave it like that. For the sides, you can add same type of the window and change your count. Our first house is ready. We will create a floor plan again and you can change this type from the rectangular, circular, H-shaped, you can choose H-shaped and change your tail width and length. I am making this type of thing. Choose all the faces and add floors. As you see, you can choose this top face again and add roof. I am making this type of village house as the same method and options. You can change your roof style. For the doors and the windows, I am making all the same things. With the changing my floor plan, I am adding little houses for the sides. You can place it where you want. I will make circle around the shape of the village. Go to edit preferences and type landscape with the shift A. You can add a landscape for the scene. Which type you want, you can change your oper operator preset. From here, I am decreasing my depth value. I don't want too much bump. So, I am scaling it. And put my houses for making some round the village look. Now, I will add a cube again. You can G to move your top faces in edit mode. You can add loop cuts with the control R and I am adding a wireframe modifier. For the windmill, I will make this type of rail for this. For the circular part, you can add a circle, type your vertices 12 and in tap to edit mode, choose all vertices, E to extrude, right click and as to scale, choose outside of the vertices or edges. Go to select and choose checker deselect. Now, E to extrude, right click and as to scale, you can make windmill park like this. I am choosing inner of the faces and giving some shape. You can choose back edge line with alt and E to extrude in Y axis. You can add extra loop cuts with ctrl R and scale them. You can give shade smooth and don't forget to check your auto smooth. I am making a simplistic way of my windmill. We will give some animation it too. You can place where you want. Now let's add a cube again. We will make some card. Scale it. Choose this faces X and delete faces. Add a loop cut with Ctrl R for the sides, Ctrl B to bevel, and press Y 
to separate these parts. And X to the lead vertices. It will look like this. Now we will add a circle again with the 12 vertices. You can make a wheel for the sides. Choose all of them, E to extrude, right click and ask to scale. Choose all with A, E to extrude in Y axis. For the inner side of the faces, you can shift it to duplicate and P selection. We are using all the same method. I made this type of videos before. You can check my YouTube channel. Choose these two faces and delete them. For the edge line, choose these edges, Alt and Shift, right click loop tool bridge. We will give a shape like this from the Edit Preferences add-ons. Don't forget to activate your loop tools. I am continuing to making same thing, choosing my edge lines and bridge. This will be a wood wheel. For the middle of meal, you can add a cylinder with the 12 vertices again, scale and place it. For the wheel, you can add a mirror modifier and choose your meal how you want. Don't forget to check your axis Y. I am adding some extra loop cuts. Choose them and Ctrl B to bevel. You can select some faces front of the mill and E to extrude them. You can check my screencast from the left. Now I am adding some cube and making chair. You can E to extrude some part of it after you're adding loop cuts with Ctrl R. You can shift it to duplicate it. Add a circle. E to extrude all the faces and Make it a bit barrel table. Now we will add some barrels. For this we will using cylinder and as the same method. If you want to make some tree stamp, you can add some cylinders too. Now let's add some textures. For the PNG bushes, you can download this type of things from may maybe PNG Wing or the other image websites. For the making some low resolution images, I am using Photoshop, but as a free option, you can use GIMP or other programs. I am using this for now. I am not making any extra thing in here, only I will change my image size and I will give some hue saturation effect only. And from the top, you can change your image size. I will set it 64. As a width. And you can press OK. It will look like this. Too much pixelated. And I am adding as an extra hue saturation. I will decrease my saturation value. And giving some little orange type of the hue. Now you can save as PNG. And now, in the blender, you can add a plane to your scene, scale, and place it. After that, we will add a material for this bush. Go to Shading tab with the Shift A, type Image Texture. Connect color to base color. And open up your pixelated bush image. And connect your alpha to alpha. Don't forget to change under the viewport display and settings blend mode alpha hashed. As you see, it will look like this. You can shift it to duplicate and rotate 19 degrees and shift it to duplicate rotate 45 again. You can control J to join them together and use where you want these pushes. For the tree, I'm using same method. I will open up my tree image. You can change your image size. I am setting 128. And for this, I am adding hue saturation too. And I'm saving as, as a PNG. As the same method, we will use image texture method. 
connect color, color to color, alpha to alpha, choose your tree, change your blend mode alpha hashed, shift it to duplicate it, in rotating the z-axis 19, you can make this type of bumpy tree. Ctrl G to join down all the planes and place where you want. I added extra different trees with the same images. You can find some images from the Google. And go to shading tab. I will change my world settings. You can add a sky texture. And connect it. With the sky texture, sun elevation, you can make a sunset. I will give some orange type of the world color like this. You can change your air dust value too. Let's give some mark seams. You can choose some edges with the alt and right click mark seam in the edge selection mode and in the edit mode. You can select all with A, U, and Wrap. We will add our images from here. If it's too confusing for you, or if you couldn't make any unwrap process, it can be looks best. You can use use Smart UV Project method too. Now in the Photoshop, I am setting up a new preset with 256 as a resolution pixel. You can create it, and I downloaded. Some textures, texturelip.com. You can download some type of the wood images from the Google. You can download some rusty or doors and windows. I collect them, scale and place how you want. You can use with the same part for making all the images in the same place. After that, you can save as all in one this type of image. And with the same methods, we will add an image texture. You can choose this all in one. As you see, I didn't like it with the unwrap, and I will choose all and use Smart UV Project. It is tied up for me too. I am choosing roof parts in the UV editing tab. You can place how you want. We will give more pixelated look. So, you are free to make your own buildings. I am choosing some parts of it, only scale and rotate in the UV editing part. That will be simple scene. So, if you want to use something on the Unreal Engine typed game engines, you can make some optimized for all scene. If you didn't like its color, you can add bright contrast node, maybe. For the old buildings, I am used same material for the windmill and cart and the wood stamp. You can find this type of image and make pixelated. As the same method with the UV unwrap, I applied all my materials. For the barrels, I used same material too. Now. From the open game art, if you want, you can get some ground images. How you want, you can use this. For the scene, I am using this type of method. As you know, in the landscape, it is too dense. But in the game engines, you don't need to make any extra landscape and export to the Unreal. You don't have to make this. You can use some landscape methods in the Unreal or Unity's inside. I will only make this type of ground for this scene. If you want, you can change it. I am adding my red soil. Select all with A, U and Smart UV project. If you want, you can add some color ramp node between the image texture and principal BSDF and change your colors and nodes. You can give this type of ground material like this. From here, under the material and under the base color, under the color, you can change your linear to the closest. It will look more pixelated like this. And for the one image, it will affect all the scene's materials. But it's not look more pixelated yet. First, we will add a cube to our scene. 
we will make some folk. You can add a material for this. Go to shading tab. Delete this principal BSDF and with the shift A, add principal to volume. After that, connect your volume to volume. Add a noise texture and color ramp. Plug them each other. For the color ramp color, connect to the emission strength. As you see, our folks will look like this. Under the principal's volume density, you can set it up, maybe 0 0.02, and slide your black node of the color ramp. It will affect like this. If you want, you can make it more darker. Maybe for rainy or storm look, in this type of retro style graphics, you can make dark folk for yourself. Or change your density when you want. Now, render image. And after that, it's not enough pixelated too. I didn't like it because I want to try PC1 and PC2 style. Go to compositing. Press use nodes. And now, we will add a scale node. And add pixelate node. Again, add a scale node. Now, we will change our first scale value. 0 0.250 and for the other scale with you we will set it for and now when you get some render image it will be look good now but it's too dark if you want you can change your fog density for this windmill part you can press i location rotation skill and go to last keyframe, frame rotate in y-axis and after that Press I again location rotation scale and you can give some round animation like this for the windmill. If it's too dark for you, you can change your density under the fog options. If you want, you can download some camera shakeify from the GitHub. I showed before how to make it, you can check my channel. I will set up this close up method and decrease my influence and giving some little shake of my camera. Under of the render settings, you can choose your output folder. As a file format, you can choose FFmpeg video and as an encoding, don't forget to change it MPEG4. You can change your frame rate how you want. And after that, render animation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later in new tutorials.